men have always gotten to do things first. So by sheer numbers, more men have been doing comedy for longer because women for so long were expected to stay home, have children, and then die. All right, we got a funny lady coming to the stage right now. Let's make some noise for her. I've been intro like, the fact that I'm a woman is, like, a wacky experiment. They'll be like, we got a young lady coming up. Yeah, like, let's see how this goes down. We are socialized not to say the things that we want to say. Watch out. We're not allowed to show that we're angry, even though we are. But we have to keep a smile and not show it because of wrinkles and likability. Because if she's angry, she's hysterical. Difficult, bitchy. Diva. <laughs> and it's like, see, crazy. And if someone's crazy, of course you don't have to listen to them or take them seriously. Because I've eaten ass, I know I am a woman who can do anything. You can be very pretty and be funny. The only requirement is that you feel ugly on the inside. Don't walk, don't run, don't Just make them feel like their bodies are unacceptable and then like sell them some shit. I wanted to be successful at this and if that meant don't eat, I just was fine with that. You have the mic, it's your turn. You have control. Right before I got on stage, a woman went, you know it's Harvey Weinstein, right? I didn't know that we have to bring our own maze and uh, rape whistles. <laughs> that was fearless. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. I'm seeing a lot of badass girls get into this field. Once you stand up against power, the narrative changes. We're all fueling each other, and it's becoming something bigger. Strong black woman, that never felt like a compliment. That always felt like work. Like, hey, what you doing on Saturday? I got this heavy couch. I need a strong black woman.